Hello, Buzzcuts, my name is Hotsy and welcome back to another day in Minecraft. Here in our Tunnel Bore test world, uh, where we are trying to figure out how we can uh, have a vertical drill uh, to remove blocks because we are not mining them. And we have made a quite a bit of progress over the last few episodes. However, it took a few episodes more than I um, would have liked, but we are nearing the end. What we still need to do is bring this uh, line of stone together with uh, that one over there. I think we do it in, in that direction somewhere we might have issues with uh, with timing because I think both blocks uh, uh, are moving with four ticks per block uh, but we do not have uh, that many blocks so maybe we have to work a bit with uh, with the delay that goes in uh, there into the, the block pushes, uh, which then basically triggers everything else. And once we have everything in one block stream, then we have to add the rest of the, the mining drill which sits on top of these uh, slime blocks and that has um, a trigger that uh, we can detect when the, the tunnel bore is coming back um, and we have to hook that up as well so I think I will just do all of that and hopefully uh, we get something that's actually working and then we can see where we go with this uh, concept from here. Um, yeah. All right, see you in a bit. I managed to put everything together. Uh, I moved the cauldron one up because uh, it's just simple that way and we have the uh, uh, output signal going out here and then we are splitting off. One signal goes into this piston with a bit of delay and that basically means we get signal out here before it is then cut off and that's how we can basically simulate a button press. We don't want to have the signal too long, it should not be too short either. And of course, as long as that cauldron there is sitting there filled with, with water, we get a constant signal out. And then it was easy to just connect the thing down here to this line, the button is here on this side. The other thing that I did was uh, uh, basically bring this block stream over to this side, then this one over to here, and then here we have another uh, combination of the two block streams. And as it turns out, timing is just right because um, the block stream on this side has a shorter pass than on the other side. So we get all four blocks from uh, this side in first before the blocks from the other side are coming in. And then the last piece that's here on this side where we basically have another redstone line going up here and if we place a dust there, that will then trigger this uh, trapdoor, sending the flying machine back down. Um, the only issue that I have so far is this observer, because if those blocks are getting pushed up, 
this observer is powering the slime, pushing this piston or powering this piston and then pushing the two slime blocks down. But that happens after the stone is removed. So not really an issue as we would pick up the slime uh, when we go down again. An other option would be to move that observer here on this side uh, because here we have no block that is moving in front but I think it will do anyway. So let's see how this actually uh, works. Um, here we have the signal, blocks are pushed around and then here on this side we can see how the blocks are pushed out and we have a strip of eight stone blocks and okay and here the flying machine is going back down again picking up more uh, dirt this time and uh, I have to make sure that we don't reach push limit here and there we go again and if we break this block here uh, then basically um, we are not sending the flying machine off again and we can simply turn it on again placing the redstone dust there and manually uh, switching the trapdoor there. All good! We have achieved what I set out so many episodes ago. However, it is a bit more complicated than I imagined. So let's hop over to uh, our survival world and see what that exactly means. I think it all started here somewhere. What we have here are some machines that produce items that do not need a player. For example, this cobblestone machine and the bone mill farm over there. But what they need they need to be loaded. For that we want to have junk loader. Junk loaders go at the bottom of the world. And as you can see there is quite a bit of uh, stone and terrain between up here and the bottom of the world. And as we do know mining in this series this is a serious problem. So that's where the sort of the vertical tunnel bore came in that we started mm, 10 episodes ago. That's more than two months we have been working on this project. And the idea was uh, have a basically quite simple construct that we can place, drill down and basically have a whole array of them next to each other so we can basically dig a trench uh, but as you have seen it has become a monstrosity. So that's probably not what's gonna work so uh, uh, we might uh, try to find a different way. We have already dug holes here in this world. These two. One is for our slime farm which is producing a ton of slime. So that's quite a good design. Um, at least if you can find uh, slime chunks especially neighboring slime chunks we have here three slime chunks 
next to each other and that gives you more slime than you will probably need then over here we have our gunpowder farm and basically what we could do is from down there uh, somehow blast away at the bottom of the world all the way to over there and then maybe even uh, all around our base have the, the lowest floor um, just uh, dug out because I think over there for our smelting array a uh, chunk loader might also be nice. I'm not sure um, if we can manage to do that down here without destroying half the farm or if we should just uh, uh, use a bit of the uh, same technique we had over here um, to basically uh, dig a uh, hole somewhere uh, that's big enough so we can uh, add a miner down there and there are quite a few designs uh, that we can use um, I'm thinking of uh, of an idea where we just blow up the, the rock uh, and don't really care about collecting all the items uh, that was a nice idea was that with the vertical tunnel board and I would assume that we will come back to the general idea at some point but that's it for today hope you enjoyed it and uh, I can't wait uh, until we get uh, that chunk loader uh, sorted out but first we have to to dig more holes all right until then goodbye